Okay, this will hopefully be a very quick video. Again, it's part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be an annotation on the screen if I got around to doing that. If not, there should be a link in the description of this video. And today we're going to quickly look at variables. So I can say x equals, and then in quotations I can say hello world. So now in this shell, anytime I use the dollar sign and the x symbol, and remember things are case sensitive here, um, it will equal hello world. So you see when I did that there, my shell is telling me that hello world is not a command, but I can do echo dollar sign x and it will print out hello world. Also, it should be, you should be in a good habit of putting quotations around pretty much anything you do, <laughs> any uh, strings you're putting out there. So echo that. So I can also do echo hello world, or I can change my variable so I can say x equals hello and now I can say x dollar sign Remember, dollar sign is indicating that it is a variable and I can hit enter and you can see it says hello so now I can say echo hello Tom and it will echo hello Tom uh, and again you have to remember that as we said in the last video single quotes shows things more literally so now it's going to say dollar sign Tom when I say echo that out. So uh, keep that in mind and now as I mentioned last time now a dollar sign is a special um, character so let's say I want to say hello Tom comma it will be five dollars. You can see that we have a problem where the five dollars doesn't show up because it's thinking that this means variable that's labeled as five, but there is no variable five, so it's just putting something blank. So we would want to, in this case, use a backslash, and that will say, this is not a variable. It's telling echo, this is not a variable. This is actually the dollar sign, and we want you to print dollar sign five. So that's a quick look at variables. There's a lot more that can be done with variables, as well as getting user input and putting them into variables, which we'll go over next. So we're going over the basics now. Hopefully you get to some more fun things in videos soon. Be sure to check out the link in the description or the annotation on the screen for the full playlist. I thank you for watching and as always, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment below, let me know what you think. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.